What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at the Tesla Model S Plaid and the Remak Nevera. We're going to compare their specs head to head and then throw them in the drag race simulator and see how they do. On my screen here you can see the side by side spec comparison. We have the Tesla on the left, the Remak on the right. Obviously the elephant in the room is the price. The Tesla is about 140000 versus the Remak which is $2.4 million and is a really low production car. Both cars are roughly the same weight at 47 to 4800 pounds although the Tesla weighs slightly more. The Tesla makes 1,020 horsepower with a really flat power curve, and it makes 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. The Remak is rated for 1.4 megawatts, or about 1,900 horsepower, and it makes 1,740 foot-pounds of torque. The Remak is quad motor, the Tesla is tri-motor, both are all-wheel drive, and the Remak is a lot less aerodynamic, but it has a ton of power to make up for it. The Remak would weigh a lot less than the Tesla, but it does have a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack versus 100 kilowatt hours in the Tesla. Let's hop over to the drag race simulator so we can see how fast these cars are and how they do head to head. I've thrown both cars in the drag race simulator. This will be a prep surface quarter mile. For the first run, I'm just going to let it run out and then I'm going to do a second run where I break it down, pause it at various points and tell you what's going on. If you're wondering about the simulator, it's a physics based drag race simulator that takes into account a ton of factors. So it's looking at the power curves of the car, the weights, the gearing, the air resistance, the rolling resistance, a lot of other factors like weight distribution. Let's hop over. Let's see this quick quarter mile run and then we'll break it down. Okay. So we have the Tesla on the top and the Remock on the bottom and both get ridiculously hard launches and then the Remox just going to keep pulling away and it's going to even widen that gap in those higher speeds. It just has so much power and we see 9.22 at 152 in the Tesla versus 8.54 at 169 in the Remock. Okay, so this time we're going to slow it down a little bit and pause at various points. That was really fast. So off the line, we can see we'll pause it here at 2.5 seconds. The Tesla gets a zero to 60 in two seconds flat, 2.00, and that's with one foot rollout subtracted. The Remock is getting a zero to 60 time of 1.9, so it's about 0.1 seconds faster. We can see the Tesla, if we go back a little bit to the two second mark, it pulls a peak G of 1.24, while the Remock is pulling 1.29. So it's not that big of a difference, but the Remock is accelerating a little bit harder off the line, as we can see in the zero to 60 times. If we continue the race, our next pause point will be around the eighth mile point. So we can see the Remock's gaining some ground here. So right about around the eighth mile, we can see the Remock is making 1157 kilowatts of power and the Tesla is making the 756. So the Remock in real life actually isn't making its full 1.4 megawatts. Drag Times did a real drag race with the Model S and the Nevera, and we saw that it was only making 1230 to 1240 kilowatts peak. And this was actually confirmed by Mate Remock himself. He actually commented on one of my videos, which was super cool. And he said that they're still working on pulling out that last, uh, that last little bit of power. So this is that version, and I just based it on looking at the Drag Times videos and pulling out as much information as I could. And we can see at 140 miles an hour, it's still pulling 0.6 Gs, which is just ridiculous. The Tesla's going almost 20 miles an hour slower, and it's not accelerating as hard. So we can see this top-end power in the Remock is just really, really crazy. Let's continue the race here. We'll go through... Um, the, f the finish line and we can see yeah same results as before 60 to 130 times 3.3 in the remock 153.2 i forgot to show you one other quick thing so i pause it when the remock's at 100 miles an hour and you can see the acceleration is 0.98 g's so you could think about this like if you're on the highway doing 100 miles an hour and you just floored it you would feel a g of acceleration that's more than a model 3 performance from a stop so Model 3 performance is about 0.9 Gs from a stop. So that's just pretty crazy to think about. Anyways, I'll continue on with the video. Now I'm gonna show you the full power of the Remock, the one without the 1240 kilowatt limit. Witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. It's gonna go all the way to 1.4 megawatts and let's see how that does in the quarter mile. Okay, so I've gone ahead and thrown in the full power version. It's gonna be on the bottom and this will go a half mile. So we can see the full power version on the bottom getting a zero to 60 time in 1.86 seconds with one four out subtracted. And then it's just gonna keep gapping the limited remock and it's gonna go really fast through the half mile. We see a crazy 60 to 130 time, three seconds flat 
and 100 to 150 in 2.9 seconds. So it's breaking the three second barrier on 60 to 130 and 150, which is just crazy. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It's kind of random, but some people were wondering about this. The Model S Plaid uses about 2.4 kilowatt hours in a full quarter mile run, which is about 2.4% of its battery. The Remock, on the other hand, uses a little bit more at 3.3 kilowatt hours, which is 2.7% of its 120 kilowatt hour battery. Random fact, but some people wanted to know. I'll see you guys next time.